Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump uh, right into it. Oops! Oh my God! All right, so I think that that's good enough. And uh, the first card, which stands for the topic, the very theme of your month, that will be the Tree of Swords, followed by the next one, which represents the peripheral activities that you can go for here. We do have the Seven of Cups. Afterwards is going to be the Seven of Pentacles of the um, challenges that you need to overcome. Uh, by the way, I said Seven of Cups, not because I'm a psychic without seeing it, but because my camera hasn't a reflection and I can see the cards into the reflection. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the Seven of Wands is going to be the positive aspect of your month. And then the final one here is going to be the uh, Queen of Wands, which represents the guidance the Tsaru is offering to you. So that will be a rough month. Uh, but all these cards here, we do have a lot of sevens, right? And seven is, is, is a divine number. Seven, it's a number of a personal knowledge, personal insight, you know, spiritual realm and all these kind of stuff. But um, these cards in such an alignment as well are, are pointing that you are to start realizing that things are not exactly the way you anticipating that they are going to be okay and this month you have to face a certain truth you need to face a certain reality and um, hopefully not too late though and uh, do what it's uh, what, what that re reality or truth is is asking from you so you can prevail into the situation and take the upper hand. It's really, um, how, how do I place it? It's a, um, it's a month where many things are going to put down their, ma their masks, people as well it could be, okay? And you will be granted also a, a time of respite. It's like a, a time of... Uh, a time where you can collect your mind and uh, do what what is best to be done according to the situation as well. So uh, before we go into all that, guys, let's run the cards one more time. We do have the Tree of Swords, which stands for the very topic, the team here, followed by the peripheral activities, which is the Seven of Cups. Afterwards, we do have Seven of Pentacles, which is the um, <clears throat> challenges. Afterwards is going to be the Seven of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one here, uh, that will be the Queen of Wands, which represents the guidance. All right, so Tree of Swords, everybody knows that this is negative card. Well, I don't want to say negative. There is no negative or positive cards in Tarot. There are cards with pleasant symptoms and there are cards with unpleasant symptoms. This one is one of the unpleasant ones. Uh, it is because the swords in this card represents um, truth. It represents personal awareness. It does represents a um, um, 
yeah, it's awareness, a, a, an awakening, okay? And what that awakening, truth or awareness does, well, it pierces your heart. So you are going to be stunned about it in a bad way. You know, that could be where you uh, find out that someone lied to you, okay? You may find out that your partner cheated on you. You may find out that, uh, you know, people at your work are, are having conspiracy conspiracy against you or um, your boss is planning to fire you. I mean, whatever you find out throughout the months, Libra, um, <clears throat> is going to ground you so much uh, that uh, it is normal that at the start that people are going to feel lost, all right? It's like the whole life, it's, it's crumbling and it is um, going down. Well, one way or another, you know, this this truth, this revelation or, or you know, an insight needs to be um, accepted and dealt with in a sense of that if you need to drink through it, do it, you know, if you need to sleep through it as well, do it. It, it doesn't matter. The thing here with the Tree of uh, Swords is that, um, and especially as a prime card, is that that thing is going to come and go, you know, it's not going to be with a significant um consequences for you, a, a long-term consequences. On a positive end, the Tree of Swords, it's a very good card where one is working under pressure uh, in a crisis and with a back against the wall, all right? So should you find yourself cornered in a certain situation, you are going to perform more than well in it. The accompanied card here is going to be the Knights of Wands formation. It is a active um, friends. So there are uh, these two cards here are, are saying that there are many ways uh, how you can approach that. Um, I don't want to say betrayal, you know, but these unfortunate circumstances. The thing is that um, although they may be unpleasant, like I said, you know, in the same time, they're going to give you a lot of things and a lot of room to work with, you know, to construct, for example, your life the way you want. So uh, if you, for example, found out that your partner is cheating on you, well, that gives you a leverage to uh, demand something from them, although it's not going to heal the pain from it, right? It's just I'm giving you an example. So uh, the peripheral activities of the next one is going to be the Seven of Wands. And the peripheral activities, these are things that has nothing to do with the topic. These are unsubstantial things that you can go for or you can decide to, to live without. Okay, and in this case, it's pretty understandable. Now, uh, this card here have its trivial meaning, alcohol, party, you know, and trying to um, intoxicate yourself with the pleasures of life so you can forget about, you know, this, uh, this unpleasant circumstances that you are facing no different than for example something is go someone is going through a um, a breakup and drink themselves to that in the bar because they cannot handle it okay the accompanied card here is going to be the tree of wands the formation it is a active enemies a passive enemies excuse me so also that may help you you know cope with the pain cope with the reality <clears throat> it also going to deprive you from stepping with with the solid feet on your ground, which is required here with the next two cards, all right? So highly unadvisable to go for uh, those kind of uh, intoxicating pleasures that will drift you further from the, from the reality of the truth, of the realization, you know, of the insight, of the pain as well. And that is even uh, further true because the pain with the Three of Swords is not going to go away on its own accord. One needs to cope with it, one needs to face it so it can heal from it and move on. Very important. Otherwise, it's going to dwell uh, up on, uh, until you face it, you really, really face it. So the challenges here are the seven of pentacles and uh, it's going to be very challenging uh, for you to uh, maintain your cool, all right, and think, uh, no, no, even, yeah, it's kind of like approaching, um, approaching with very peaceful manner the, the situation. That is because, um, like I said, there are many ways how you can approach the situation and the instinctive one, the very first thing that comes to my mind what to do and how to react may not be the most rational one. 
So challenging wise, um, you know, even if it is so bad that you find out that your partner is cheating on you, do not lash out straight away, you know, but uh, think what's, it, what is done is done, you know, but there is definitely a way how you can end up with something from it. It may not be, you know, it may not, um, how do I say it? It may not cover the damage, okay? But in the same time, it's better than nothing. So just maintain your core and do not um, do not shoot yourself in the foot. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be, we do have another seven and yeah, it's, it's going to be the uh, seven of swords formation, passive enemies once again, this is your self-righteousness, killing the, um, the right, the, the, the appropriate actions here, all right? So yeah, your self-righteousness, your aggressiveness, your storm over the situation, all right? Demanding straight away for an explanation and for some ridiculous, um, ri yeah, ridiculous stipulations and ridiculous demands, which simply you know that they cannot, they will not gonna be fulfilled, it's going to further deteriorate your situation. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, for example, if you find out that your partner cheated on you or uh, there is a conspiracy against you into your career, um, you have to be quiet about it, all right? And that you have to just basically let it go. But there is definitely more smarter way how you can deal with it if you are not give your, if you doesn't give yourself to your impulses. Which is the next one? Um, uh, that will be the seven of wands and this is the positive aspect. So first of all, you will be able to maintain your ground. That is very, very important. So even though, if, especially if we're talking about conspiracy, and if we're talking about, you know, a, uh, yeah, it's, I think the word, the word again is, is conspiracy, but uh, more like a, uh, a move from your boss, for example, to get rid of you. Uh, this card points that should you wait for the right moment of action, right? And you do not get yourself tempted by the immediate circumstances of the situation, meaning you just found out that your boss is planning to let go of you, okay? You don't give yourself into it. You don't storm the office of your boss, for example, you know, and you don't call them names and all that. There will be definitely a, a moment where you can prevent that and sustain your ground. Additionally to that, <clears throat> All this thing that it is to happen, even if you miss your chance and you are not able to sustain the situation, okay, and you have to let go of it, uh, this card promises that you are not going to lose your self-respect, okay, and it's not going to have any damage upon your uh, confidence. The accompanied card here is going to be the strength card, so the, um, the formation, it is a active supporters, very strong card for patience. As a matter of fact, you have to persevere through, uh, through the patience and uh, you need to allow your charisma and as well your milder, uh, your milder approach toward the situation to, um, to take the better of you, you know, and to work its way out, uh, its way through because this is the way. I know that you liberals sometimes are quick to temper, I have dealt with some uh, with some liberals, you know, and uh, that's not the way how how things are resolved. All right, it's just it's, it's just not the way. So yeah, maintain your core cool and wait for the right moment to come around so you can make your move. Uh, the last one is going to be in regards to the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So we do have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands points that. Um, you are an exceptional person or there are, I would say it that way, there are qualities that you can always sell on the market, either regarding career wise or either regarding relationship wise. And should this situation deteriorate and you have to let go of it is simply because your, your qualities are not for it. They're either, um, how, how do I place it? They're either undervalued, okay? Or they're taken for granted and etc etc simply this card here points that you can be way more productive and, and, and way more happier and successful elsewhere should you are unable to sustain this uh, this situation but once again you have to face 
the truth. And again, it isn't about you guys. It's not because you have performed bad or it is because you did something wrong. It's just the truth is the truth. And probably, for example, if you have been cheated, probably this person has a weak angels. This is something we have here into our minds. So it's in our country. So it's quick to temptation. It can't resist that temptation or simply your boss, if he's planning to get rid of you, you know, this is because he doesn't have any more the money to pay you and etc, etc. This card here is a testament that this is not about you or you did not done anything wrong to provoke all that. Nonetheless, it's happening. So the accompanied card here, it is the moon and the formation, it is a... Uh, active enemies and uh, with this combination you shouldn't doubt nor for a single moment okay that this is that your life is ending here i would say okay and that your future it's shrouded in the doom and gloom just on the contrary with these two cards either way your future will be much better established after this month is over so that being said, Libra, this was your week, uh, monthly, excuse me, tarot reading, August 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.